Site 123 for Beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get started on Site 123 as a beginner and create your own free website uh, in under 10 minutes. So let's get into it. First off, you're gonna go on site123.com and you are going to click on start here. And now you are going to select whatever kind of site that you are looking to create. So maybe we are just trying to create a health and wellness website. Let's just say Jane's health advice is the kind of website name we're looking for. And now you are going to add in your personal details or you can either sign up with Facebook or Google. I'm just going to sign up with Google. And now I'm just going to add my name and personal details because even if you are signing up with Google, you will have to add your name and email address. So, oh no, actually it just worked finally. Yeah. I'm sorry about this little hiccup, but now our website is being built. And just as you open your website, this video of Site123's assistance will pop up and it might scare you for a while, just like it just scared me, but you are just going to close that and you can see that Site123 has provided you with a fantastic template according to whatever category that you selected. So the good part about Site123 is if you're just a local business getting started, you have no coding experience, you have no design experience, you are not a tech savvy person. Site123 will do all of the difficult work for you. So you can just see over here, if I want to change this text, I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna press backspace and I'm going to add whatever text I want. So let's just say health coaching. And now if you want to change anything, all of the options are clearly and easily available on the top. So over here, you can either make the text bold or not if you want it to be italic. If you want to change the font, so if we just change the font over here and now you can also change the text size, the letter spacing, the word spacing and the line height. So if we want to increase the size of the text, if we want more line spacing or more word spacing, we can do that and also edit our line height. So the distance between two lines of text can be increased or decreased just by clicking on the text itself. After that, you can also edit the overall design of your text. So if you want it to appear with a background, if you want it to appear colored, if you want the bottom text to be separated with dividers, you can add all of that and you can also change the general header. So if you want it to be in a square, if you want to have dividers and whatnot. So there are a lot of templates that are available, but it's not too overwhelming like other online web designing applications because they can have too many options, too much customization. And it can uh, usually for someone that's just starting out, uh, scare them away a bit. So let's just say I like this one or maybe not. It doesn't look that great this this looks very neat and just like that i have changed the basic uh header that we have on our website now you can also edit the logo of your website you're just going to click on edit logo you can use their logo maker if you already have a logo you can upload it or if you have it on a third party source you can also upload it from there now let's just change it to james jim and now if you click on this logo maker, it's going to show you different fonts, layouts, and text you can use for your website logo. Now, let's just say we want it to be people-centered. Oh, that doesn't look good. Mm, let's make it artistic. And you can add any of these kinds of imageries that are available as stock images on the icon section. You can add something like a actual pixelate like the actual colored image as well but that's really not going to suit my aesthetic so i'm just going to go with this heartbeat line logo you can also check out the glyph formation of logos or the colored logos that are available now below that you have your font so whatever font you might want your website logo in after that you have your layout so you can customize that. It's not really customization, it's just selection out of the already made uh, options available. So you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to think too much about it, just go with whatever looks good. And now you can also change the size, spacing, word spacing, and icon text spacing. But this looks pretty good to me, so I'm just gonna save it like that. 
and now you can see my logo has been changed in real time now after that you can see this is like this is one section below that this is another section and if you want to move this about section below the maybe uh, booking section you can just click on this downward arrow and now your about section has been moved below the schedule a booking section so whatever you want to prioritize on your website you can just move it up and move other things down now on the top menu bar you can edit the header and edit the structure so let's edit the header a bit you can first off show the phone number of your pop-up store your gym or whatever kind of uh, in-house phone number that you have you can show that so over here it's gonna add this phone icon and that's going to display your phone number then you can also add your location address so once you add that you can actually even get to the location and let's just save those and then you can edit the structure of your top header so for example right now it's a black header if you want to move it to the left side you can select something like this so it, it's going to be moved to the left if you want it to look like this to pop off a bit with a white background and black text you can select that and then you can also select this entire grasping kind of header that really does uh, shrink out your page i'm actually gonna go with this one because it looks sleek and it doesn't occupy too much space and now you can also customize it so if you want your header to be opaque so you don't want any of the imagery behind it to be available you can set it at full opacity if you want it to, to have slight opacity you can do that after that, you can also customize the header size. If you want this to be very large, you can increase the size on that. You also have a lot of other options like header font style, the menu link style, uh, the spaces between pages, page width, letter spacing, and word spacing. All of that is just present over here, and you can change it according to your uh, personal liking. And now over here, you can actually even see more templates to add to your website. So maybe if you don't like this imagery and this entire setup of how it looks, you can just select one from here and change it immediately. So maybe you want this image over here. And now it's going to change the look of your website to match this kind of website. So you can see over here how easy it is to just change it up. And you can see the yoga related and, you know, the health related stuff is still posted over here, but it has been posted in this kind of format. And you are just going to edit the text again. And just like that, you can customize and create your website. Once you have set it all according to your personal liking, you are just going to click on publish. You're going to click on yes. And then it is going to ask you about what kind of URL you want. So let's just say... If this is available, you're just gonna click on available. And now if you want to buy a URL, you will actually have to purchase it or you can just use this standard URL. So if you wanna get a unique domain name or URL, you can select it just from here, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because usually these kinds of web developers charge you a inflated price for a domain name. I would definitely say that you should um, just go with the standard URL that they are providing you for free. So if you just click on here, this is just the standard uh, URL that they have provided. It's not very appealing, but if you're just starting out, it's totally fine. And if you want to buy one, you can, but for that, you will actually have to buy the premium plan on the site one, two, three application. But for now, your website has been published and you can get started, you can make sales, you can get all of your work done and have a professional looking site using site one, two, three. Now, speaking of their plans, I'm gonna now take a look at all of the different kinds of price plans that are available on site.com. Now over here, we're going to take a look at the different prices and plans that are available on site one, two, three. First off is their basic program for their personal use. It charges you $3.50 a month and it is an annual program. You can select for how long you want it. So if you want it for three months, 12 months, 24 or even 120. So let's just say we're going to go with one year for all of these. 
you will get your free domain name for one year. You'll get 10 gigabytes of storage, five gigabytes of bandwidth, and remove site one, two, three floating tag from your website. So you can see that a little uh, site tag that appears at the bottom that this website was created using site one, two, three, that is also going to be removed. And you can connect your own personal domain name on this version of the site one, two, three builder. On the advanced version, you get free domain for a year, 30 gigabytes of storage, 15 gigabytes of bandwidth. You also get 1000 mailing list messages, two mailboxes, one additional language, and the footer tag is also removed. On the professional $10.70 a month program, you get 45 gigabytes of bandwidth, you get five mailboxes, 2500 mailing list messages, and you get more e-commerce details, so your analytics and data is also provided. Also, if you're looking to sell products on uh, your website, you can get 500 orders per month using the site 123. Moving on, we have our professional program provided by site 123. It costs around $10.70 a month, and this is a discounted price. So beware that all of these prices might increase once this sale is over. It's going to provide you with five mailboxes. It's going to add three additional languages, and it's also going to allow you 500 orders per month. So if you're looking to sell items, you should definitely check out their professional version. Then you also have a gold version where uh, you get credit card getaways, web statistics, you get advanced e-commerce features. So your NFTs, coupon system, and other advanced features are available only in the gold version. You also have multi-currency, so if you're shipping orders abroad, you might want that. You can have your abandoned cart reminders, your e-commerce reviews, your e-commerce wish list, and your SEO advisor. So that was a general overview of Site123. I would not recommend that you actually go for their paid plans. I think the free version is just good enough if you're getting started. And if you're thinking of buying any of these, uh, I would suggest that instead you take a look at maybe Squarespace or even VIX, even though they are very popular, they are still one of the leaders and they might be more uh, value for their money because Site123 is a smaller business and they aren't providing that much value for your money. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video very helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.